What is up guys, Cyber Houdini here and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. We finally kicked off the DLC after restarting the entire game and let me tell you, that was one of the best intro missions I have ever played. It was insane. Like it was like two hours of just non-stop fucking craziness between being introduced to Songbird, to taking down a whole fucking establishment, to saving the goddamn president of the new United States of America. That's pretty damn impressive for the first mission. Jesus Christ. If they can keep this up, it's going to be something special. That was awesome. She's got her own secrets going on. Songbird has her own thing. Johnny fucking Silver. I haven't even met Idris Elba yet. But we will, we will. Oh yes, it's gonna go deeper. The cool president as well. Like she was able to handle herself. She took out some of the, the the bad guys as well. You know, it wasn't just AI fodder where they're just shooting fucking in the air. You know, we even got to fight a, a massive kind of tarantula mech known as the Chimera. That thing was special. It's a thing in the trailer. I thought that'd be something for the end of it. Like reminds me of uh, Horizon when. They had uh, the original DLC. It was like, oh, way to give away the last boss. This is the fucking starting boss. You know what? It's still like no downgrade or anything. It still looked like that when we played it. Pretty cool. In this stream, I thought it'd be nice to double back and, and um, romance Judy, you know, because she's been the one we chose, but I didn't know there was a couple of prerequisites for her mission. Like, we had just helped her uh, bury Evelyn and that. Um, but, you know, there's a little bit of waiting to do, and I don't want it to kind of get in the way. I'd like to mainline that as much as we can it reminds me a lot of the waiting in uh, the witcher where i suppose like bethesda as well but certain games when you do that it has a tendency to um jesus christ has a tendency to kind of kick start certain quests like it knows you're waiting almost yeah it's pretty damn special so we're gonna kick straight into that no messing around makes me look like i have a halo all righty then Okay, hope you're all ready for Christmas as well. I am fucking bought I'm not gonna lie. Between like getting out of working and shopping and rapping and everything else, I'm just whoo! I ain't got the time. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go straight back into this, and Judy is gonna call us for another mission called the X Factor. Now, some of these you have to obviously choose to be on Judy's side. If you say no, mission ends there. Maybe you want to romance someone else like Panam. There's a couple. I think even Phantom Liberty might have a few new ones. But it's just the way it goes. Remember I talked about this before. These kind of games. The Witcher. A couple of them were like that. Even GTA. Where you'll get the phone call that will start a mission. And it won't be necessarily when you want to do the mission. You know you're in for a hell of a time. But it's such a good like little intro to a mission. That having it split up on another stream or another video or whatever. Really just kind of does not set it in motion well enough. So it's nice to actually catch this. You know. I just loaded it back in. I've noticed when you end a session and come back in, you know, autosave is great and all that, but it tends to kickstart a lot of those phone calls you were waiting for. It's uh, a couple of games I've seen do that. Um, Days Gone was such a bad offender of it where you would be in the camp and you would just leave the gate on your bike and they would ring you to come back and do a mission or maybe 200 meters down the road. And it's like, what the fuck is the point of that? Not to mention, like, it's a game where you expend fuel, you know? It was such a strange thing, but I knew what they were doing. It just came off really odd. I think what they wanted to do was have you springboard between the camps, do a mission for them and the mission for them. That's not how the fucking radio had it. The radio was like, did you just leave the camp? Well, she wants you to come right back. Gadget, bitch. Instead of just fucking leading into it while you're in the camp. But add to each their own. It's how their mission structure is, you know? This one, it's, uh, like, the phone call, like, GTA, you know? <clears throat> how you feeling? All right. Shitty, but something came to me. All right, what came to you? You're still in more and grief is a process. Let's not baby her either. This is Judy so Alvarez. She's my love interest in the game. Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. By the name of the quest, X Factor, feels kind of weird if we're gonna jump into a relationship when she's makeover. in the middle of mourning. But yeah, I think you do have to be a female V to get with Judy. She's into the ladies. God bless her. Thank, Got thank God for that. To agree to take over clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. No, someone at clouds will take our side. So we're gonna get a little you bit know. of revenge for what happened with her. So yeah, you can go. Sorry, not now. Can't do this, and you'll just end it. No romance, no side quests. Uh, so it's definitely better. Now I don't know if you can romance both of them. So I remember in The Witcher Tree, yes. I was a naughty little okay, cyber. So I couldn't pick between Yennefer and Triss. Up, so I tried to get both of them go and got none of them. She's not with us. It was the throw our hands perfect the circle. It was like tree some bait and then nothing happened. All right. So who's Michael? Huh? Michael Probably Maeda? works for the dolls, does she? Who is she exactly? 
Hey, Dynamite, how's it going, dude? What up? What'd she do officially? She's a doll, so yep. she's a nobody. Oh, that's not nice. How's your day going, man? Getting closer to Christmas. You gonna pick up any games or anything? I see there's a couple of sales. I know DPG was waiting for Spider-Man 2. Might be too early for that one. All right. Sure, Michael's gonna want to. I see another game's going on sale. If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. So we're gonna do the the hey, Judy missions. Any she'll slap us and there's shove us two out or three of them, and then of we get to romance her. Guess I can work with that. If I can play my cards right, when you want to meet. When are we doing it's one of those things where you gotta like wait, take a phone call, Before don't take a phone call, that time. kind of stuff. How early? We can. Before eight. I'll Absolutely. Be ah, nice. The balcony above nice little finger crack. It can uh, backfire on you. No Most people pick Pan Am, and Pan Am is, she's gorgeous. Got it. She got a booty, she got everything. But Judy's for me. Now, Judy, there's a couple of uh, characters in the game. There's like a gay dude, you, you have to be the male V. And Judy is for the ladies, you know, so she's uh, uh, for the female Vs. And then Pan Am, she doesn't mind what the hell you are, you know. She's swinging every which way. But I've always had a thing for Judy. I've always had a thing for Latina mommies. There's something about them. They're fiery, they're passionate, kind of like the Irish. You know, you don't want to get in their bad side. Also kind of like the Irish. But yeah. yeah. I'm down for that. We did the first big mission for Phantom Liberty. I know. It was something I was like wrestling with. Do I start it before the Christmas break? Because we won't come back to it for like a week or so, you know. Uh, but it's all good. It was incredible. It was a two-hour intro. One of the best missions I played all year. I just couldn't believe that this was not saved for the ending. And, you know, I don't expect anything less from CD Projekt Red. We haven't even met Idris Albi yet. And I'm just jaws on the floor. Yesterday was fun too, we got some games in, I always appreciate you playing a bit of Battle Royale, I know it's not your favourite mode, but you always try and get in there when you can, or when you're feeling up to it, and I really appreciate that. Me and Pyro end up, I can never tell the GPS is on the other side of the road, me and Pyro end up getting a nice duo win for once, ah, fucking hell, that was such a tasty snipe, we did that whole thing where he was doing cover fire, trying to get some pot shots, she was distracted, I was right under the cliff underneath her, and she kept hopping around trying to snipe, I waited for that little peek, and I popped her clogs. Game over. So tasty. And I'm getting pretty decent at the sniper. For someone who never really bothers to use them because I don't have the patience. Doesn't matter if it's in the Battle Royale or any FPS. Or, or even a third, a third person shooter. I don't give a fuck. I don't really use them that much. They're definitely all power, but it's such a waiting game, you know? I don't like that. I like to be knee deep in the action. Knee deep in the action's pussy. God damn! I don't know. A little, a little smart care, huh? This game is fucking amazing. If you look around, you'll get like a used copy of this for like a tenner. That's what I did. The box is in shite. And I'm like, I don't care. I want the insides of it. And yeah, fair enough. The DLC is a bit pricey. But you can wait for that to come down. There's enough in the main game. As of the 2.0, there's over 100 hours. Easy. Without the extra, you know, 30 hours of the DLC. So yeah, like, here's the thing. CD Projekt Red is one of those guys where it's very hard to call it DLC. Same with like an expansion from Bethesda. It's like... These aren't, this is not DLC, this is not like a roguelike mode that you're done with in an hour, you know? These are fucking expansion, that's why we're only kind of getting one. It's also been a, a pretty tough development for them, you know, they've learned a hard lesson, but hopefully it's a lesson learned well, so they don't fucking make it again, you know? That's all I want. Yennefer all the way, true, true. I'm not gonna lie, she's gorgeous, she has that kind of little dummy mummy thing going on, you know? You, you don't want to get on her bad side, or do you, you know? But Triss, has, I've always liked her, you know? She's fiery, but she has that really soft heart. But she was a, a naughty little thing. She knew that Geralt had lost his memory in Witcher 2, and she still fucked his brains out. Like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, I know you have amnesia, but your dick don't have amnesia, do it? <laughs> it's fucking true. It's so true. Oh, no, this is not what I wanted to do. You yeah, little bastard. I hate when that happens. Nice. I hate when they send you off to another one. Um, no, we're doing X Factor. Yeah, I think the X Factor, so that kind of, sort of, it's hard to tell, but I think Evelyn and Judy were together. It, they never laid it out. Um, I Sometimes I almost got like a sisterly bond, but maybe that's the idea. Look at these fucking limousines, man. They cracked me up. Huh? Fucking Cybertruck's got nothing on this. Oh my god, I was almost roadkill. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Alright, you guys are all waiting. You can, you can wait for me to do a little jam. 
So yeah, I changed up my quick hack, and so we don't quick hack people. We now have this uh, slow down mode, so I can just get into position. We have some new Mantis blades, and the DLC opens up this uh, relic stuff as well, which is really cool. A whole new bar down here. But these, I think you have to unlock in the world. You Oh no, I have three fucking points right here. God damn, this one, bitch. The one I want is like a new Mantis leap. It's basically like the blink in Arcane. Watch this one. What the fuck is that? Thank you. I will take that. Yes. Boom. Why didn't I fucking do that already? And then you got more for the the mono wire. A lot of, that seems to be a fan favorite. Watch as she tries to slash the dude and actually cuts open the explosive canister. It's pretty cool. And the grill arms are just insane. Only affects grill arms. Yeah. They are cool. All right. I wanted this. So how do we do this? It's just hold R2. So it actually makes it a proper leap instead of that gay ass shit we had earlier. Good. Good. Hey DPG, how's it going, man? Speak of the devil. I don't know if Spider-Man 2 is on sale, but they're doing that end of the year sales. A lot of stuff's on sale. Honestly, you might pick up the Mass Effect. Yeah, dude, I really recommend it. I think out of the bunch, it kind of comes down to what you like. If you just like that pure kind of action, great story, 2 is the best. If you like a little bit of RPG and a little bit slower, um, the first one is amazing. It's got that kind of RPG build into it. And then 3, like, it's just a, it's a good, good send-off, you know? The first three quarters of it, anyway, the last falls apart at the end, but... And then, it's, and then the DLC for all the Mass Effects are just wonderful. Even the first one, which barely had any. It had, like, Pinnacle Station, which is meh. But Bring Down the Sky is a really great mission. It's like a, a nuclear warhead kind of thing. Second one, it's kind of goofy. Like, th that series has been 100%, like, taken advantage of, you know? You got diehard fans, but they don't know what they want. Like in the second one, it's kind of spoiler and all that, but you're playing as Shepard, but you're not really playing as Shepard. It's like Shepard, but not Shepard kind of thing. You know, it's one of those things. It's not like a penny drop moment. It's pretty much at the start. Um, and you're kind of like, okay, so if they're able to do this in this world, who cares? Because like, people are pissed about Andromeda, and people are pissed about like this new one as well, before we even know what it is, because we have a kind of a, a protagonist for the poster, but no face. And from the look of it, it looks like more of a woman, maybe even Liara. Liara as the main character, I think, would be good, but we gotta get that blue alien sex in there, so... I don't know. I can't stop buying stuff, man. I've been, I was done pretty much getting presents like Tuesday or something. But I cannot for the life of me fucking stop. More, more, more. And Amazon have just been on crack this year. Good for them. I, I want to give my uh, delivery driver like a tip or, or a present or something. Because I keep saying it'll be here like Friday, Saturday. That was like on Monday. And I was getting those things, you know, on Monday, Tuesday. You know, it makes it a little bit uh, hard logistically wise to... Uh, actually fucking you know be there to get the delivery but the fact that it's coming that early is great i'm in arizona what up dude are you lost in the desert be careful be care while you're in arizona you have to watch that uh coen brothers movie yeah. raising arizona it's wonderful nicholas cage holly hunter all right in the early morning what time is it now 1 36 p.m I hope that's enough. Is that enough for you? That's early morning for some people. Met up with you. Oh, nice, dude. Well done. What was that like? Jesus. Meeting up in real time. Was it just you and him? That's kind of odd. Did you exchange some drugs? I'm at the wedding. Nice. Yeah, enjoy. Enjoy, sir. It was nervous. Nice. I even clipped it. Ah, nice, dude. That was a tasty snipe. It's been, it's been a really good season so far. Can it last till March, though? That's the question. All right, we're going to try and take back uh, ownership of these dolls. The dolls and strippers in this game are their own gang. They shoot the shit out stuff, kind of like Sin City, you know? And the Tiger Claws are kind of like the Yakuza. All right. What's she doing over here, anyway? She's probably not here, but it might let me wait. You know, it's like, wait for the right time. No, maybe. Man, I may not use no damn leathers. Cool, that's worth. Aw. Give him my autograph. You crazy bastard. Well, one day you're going to be big. He's going to be a Bollywood star. I'm telling you. He's going to be out there dancing. Where are you leading me? Wait until early morning. Now we're entering a new area. Clouds. 
I love you. Yeah, they do just let you away. I love that. I love, love, love it. If only other games. Alright. Yeah, I got a thing for Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. Some time later. Hello, time later. Hey, v. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Okay. Yeah, tell me something about her. Some deeds about her could be useful. Absolutely. When I That's good, dude. I'm glad you got to meet people after years and years. No. Leave the talking to me. Most did you charge? You hear as your as your hustle? What's hustle? Instead of like muscle, it's like a hole. Like a hole muscle. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know mm -hmm. the woman better. All right, I'm guessing that's what hustle means. V, get it you got too drunk. Oh, you nervous? You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. I like her tattoos. She's got just enough for them. Not too many. People with too many tattoos. Hold on. I'll open it. They're all unrecognizable after a while, but really lovely select pieces and colorful pieces. They just accentuate the beauty. She needs some new clothes, though. But in one of the updates, you've got, like, new hangouts. You know how to get around the system? You've used this entrance before. I'm always just okay, short of the extra more. dialogue options, but it's okay. More than once. I ain't before. I have. I'm Hopefully your, the hangover's not too bad today. Easy as bay. What do you, you drink? You're a bud man, are you? You bud light man? Follow me. As paella. Follow me. Look at the GPS right now. Like someone vomited and scribbled all over the place. All right, whose place are we in? This is like uh, this is a Tiger Claws territory. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. So we're gonna try and do as many of Judy's quests as we can. Parties, but you know. Yep. Bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mark. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Careful. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. You know my name? Left a lasting impression. Good. Guess I left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Uh, I mean, with Mass Effect, I already own it on EA. Myself, okay. With them too. Can't be arsed. Now. Right. How am I to deal with you? Uh, did what I have to do. Don't mind me. Here to blend in with the furniture. Yeah, we we should we should not interfere. I don't mind you got a herpes or something? Blend into the decor. Why does she keep adjusting in a chair? That's no reason. Why come at all? Get the hemorrhoids. To make sure Judy gets what she. Look at her. She, <laughs> she keeps adjusting in a chair. Jude would have had a better chance. Without <laughs> you. All right. Uh, so you're good at blowing hot air. Judy wants to make you a proposition. Okay, we're, we're meant to play nice ball here, okay? If the guns start fucking flying, so, so be it. Judy has a proposal about clouds. Want to come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this loose end in here. It's not a loose end. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. God but damn, Judy, first. stop it. Clouds needs to be Sheesh. taken from the tiger claws. She's got a right angle back there. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was traumatic. Huh? Don't touch I was it. convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. I thought Yoranubu would get her. Or everyone will end up like Evie. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Scumbags. Okay, since you seem more you treat, reasonable... They're sex workers, but because they're about? dolls, uh, Judy's proposal, give it some thought. You really do treat them like shit. Judy's idea? Think about it. Could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. Cloud's uh, employee took advantage of Evelyn. Yeah, Woodman we already killed. I don't know if you're supposed to keep him alive or what, but I killed that motherfucker. Easy. It's the easiest choice I ever made. You have no idea how valuable you know, where would Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen. Hello? 
tiger claw bosses rule this place. Mm -hmm. Know how much I mean to them? That's cute. Boss with a boss with a boss. About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. It's a waste of time. Shouldn't be working here then. I don't know what to do, man. I, I kind of want to grease the wheels a little bit. She's more talking to us anyway. Does it make you wonder why you even work here? Aquaman 2 just came out ever here. about an hour after the reviews. Literally Not good. But it also coincides with the end of that DCU. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Mm-hmm. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely. Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. I'm not your enemy. Here. I think she wants to sit back down, but I she got being piled. Alright. That's all we can say. You picked the wrong side, Michael. I'll be the judge of that. She's just protecting her own skin. Let's go talk to Judy. Judy's a little brash, as you can imagine. That went smoothly. Hey, he was a little better than we expected. She totally blew us off. Hey, we're not dead, right? She's probably scared. Absolutely. Know what I think? Yeah, She's six pound. Like, that's just like a tenner, right? She have lots to that's lose so worth it, dude. That's like three, three fucking euro a game. So she'll just let things go on as usual. With all the DLC. And the legendary editions are fantastic, too. But it's up to you. Like, if there's something else, let me know. I'll weigh it up. If there's something else you're feeling, like maybe Red Dead Redemption 2 or something. I'm, I'm there with you. I got like 60 fucking games for Epic. I ain't never launched that thing. Nope. Some other free game or something. Give away all the Destiny stuff. That was like... Giving away free games, free to-play games with you two DLC. You have a history? Shit. Way back, yeah. Shit, shit thing to do. It's like a like nothing burger, you know? Lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Oh. So we get to see. This is cool. This, I like to see NPCs interacting with the see environment. everything is a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. Are they on RDR2? Nice. Right there with you. I... Only buy a PC for the mods. Well, used to have a big crush on her. Oh. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. Well, that makes sense. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding, do you good? Do me good too, actually. Careful, V. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but can't say if it'll amount to anything. Okay, okay, I like the sound of that. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. <laughs> Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Yeah, she is grieving hard. She's liable to do some really brash shit. Is this the guy we're waiting for? No, nope, just a random NPC that we walked through. Great, yeah. Judy, Judy, Judy. Yeah, that's about all that Red Dead Redemption 2 is any good for these days now. The online is dead, almost dead. What a waste. Hopefully one day we'll get a, a third game, which is like a prequel, prequel, prequel. I'd be down for that. There's even talks of Arthur Morgan's father. Be cool. I'd love to see like a very young teenage John and Abigail getting together. Younger Arthur, younger Dutch, still got a plan. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Uh, we killed the motherfucker? I thought I killed him already. Oh. What do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there Hell is yes. no face. Sounds somebody. good to me. Fine. Want you to do it. I think we should kill him. I don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Leave the mega building on duty. Ride the elevator to the maintenance level. Hell yeah. Whoa, Jenny boy. worse than a corpo. A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. 
She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Definitely caused a lot of trouble, but who gives a shit? Uh, it's a good price on Epic for £13. Okay. With the coupon, yeah. I think the best is Alan Wake. You get Alan Wake Remastered, Alan Wake 2, the Fortnite Alan Wake skin, all for like 20 God damn! There he is. I, I killed this motherfucker. Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. Seems like a good idea for your fucking head. Instead, I took her to a ripper. Wished you a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Fuck you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Oh shit! Get <laughs> oh dear. What happened to your head, huh? Oh dear. Your head go bye bye. God damn, the gore in this game is is pretty special. Look at that. I see. This was seventh grade. This is the first time you shit yourself, and the last time you shit yourself was about two seconds ago. Good job. Good job. All right. Goodbye, Woodman. You useless prick. I didn't want Judy to get hurt there. So I'm glad that didn't happen. It's not gonna make you feel any better. Nope. Revenge may be a dish best curb served, but it's fucking an empty dish. It's like eating ice and expecting fucking nourishment. Alright, where to next, huh? Go back up to maintenance right at the ground floor, okay. This might bring a lot of heat towards her. I know. Well. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. Revenge is rarely worth it. Yup. But. You gotta understand, instead of revenge, think of it as avenge. You've avenged Evelyn. He deserved to get his head blown off with the shit he's done to many people. I swear I killed that motherfucker before. Cause you have a chance. I popped his clogs in his desk. Maybe I took, I, I stepped away. Oh, poor Judy. There's no easy way out of this, Judy. You gotta go and try and find your own happiness now. You should allow yourself to, to grieve, you know? Get fished shit face make some stupid choices buy some stupid shit you don't need whatever it takes to just get through another day yeah a coupon they're very smart and the free games as well smart 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 I think my fortnite's going like it it's gonna be a very healthy season to keep lego fortnite updating that be good to go because the fans will make their creations but you need to give them the b proper b tools and the backbone, you know. Gotta get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. Yeah, what are we gonna do now? So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I feel like she's starting we'll to, talk to the she's trying to start a war with the tiger claws. I'll call you when I've got something. See, there you go. See you later, V. And thanks. No problem. Yeah, she's a tough nut to crack. But, you know, it's not all just to get into her pants. It is a little bit. But, you know, I, I want to know more about her. She's a great character. But she, you know, her job is uh, of this, like, expert brain dance technician. She helped us at the start. One of the first characters we met with Evelyn, you know. Um, But it goes deeper than that. The girl's got. So she deserves her own. Like if if it was a perfect world and this thing actually launched properly, she might have got her own DLC, even been playable or something. Be cool. I don't know where they go from this. They're obviously moved on to the Witcher remake, the Witcher Four, and the uh, Cyberpunk Two, which very early early stages. Obviously, that one's called Project Orion, I believe. Like where do you you could just do as goofy as it sounds, but like Cyberpunk. You know, 2078. I know that sounds goofy, but that's kind of how the uh, RPG works as well, you know. I mean, it did start with uh, Cyberpunk 2020, I think. That was the idea. That's where we have kind of Johnny come into it. Or we'll go back uh, 60 years. <laughs> oh, bollocks. There's always a little sneeze in there. I wonder what that is. Is it like a streaming thing for me? Maybe, I don't know. Look at these advertisements. Holy shit, huh? 
No, well, we're not too far off that. Have you fucking gone into Twitch's homepage these days? All right, so uh, as it says, you gotta wait again for her. Uh, the problem is, it's one of those weird things where I think I missed it. Look at the neon in the umbrella, it's so cool. I missed it, but I was able to re-trigger it by calling her. Remember when I tried to call her last stream and she wouldn't pick up? I think it was because Phantom Liberty was sort of interfering with it. Um, but it seems to be that waiting for, like here's skip time here. Waiting for like 6 to 12 hours seems to be the key, not a full 24 hours. Oh, speaking of which, I need to find a shop and get rid of some of my crap. Hold on. They're, they're usually not too far away. Yeah, over here. Right beside the fast travel station. These guys are fast travel stations. Trust me, you won't do it much. This is just your basic shop. Alright. Anything worth a damn? Uh, we've been using this new power revolver. Pretty tasty. Assault rifles. You know, with the new precision rifle, I'm good. It was a newer precision rifle. Much stronger. But it was going to set me back about 60 grand. Which uh, is a lot. Like, I know people have probably infinite money in this game. But I've chosen to, you know, start from the start. So when we... Uh, are playing Phantom Liberty, we're actually around only three quarters of the way through the main game. And what Phantom Liberty does is it can slot itself in there and actually give you um, a new ending, which is kind of cool. If you so choose it. Now, some of these ones, the iconic ones, um, are worth just kind of keeping. Masamune, yeah. Because they're iconic. You know, some of these up here might sound great, but you're, you're good to go. You'll get many, many more like that. But the iconic ones, which usually have this kind of gold uh, chip to them, they're from special enemies and bosses and all that. Uh, so it's just not something you're going to uh, pick off pick off the ground willy-nilly, you know. Uh, so even if they don't really light your fire or serve much purpose to you right now, look at this stuff. This is just from picking up off the ground. Do these uh, weigh a lot? Uh, a little bit, and it would add up. Honestly, most of it I don't need. What's the point of these being different color? They don't hold mods or anything. Um, I don't know. There's the Witcher stuff. I want to keep that. A lot of it's... These are just cosmetics. Some of them, I think, have a little bit of armor. See that? Uh, quick hack upload, plus 20 armor. A sucker. Yeah, we don't. We're not gonna use that anymore. Health item recharge speed. Some of us just just get all cosmetics. Yeah, these are all just twenty armor, explosive damage reduction, melee damage resistance, armor, 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 armor. Now there might be a way for me to equip this stuff and then hide it, you know, because. Although it's giving you armor, probably doesn't have the fucking nicest look to it, you know? Let's have a look. Where is it? Inventory. All right, cool. A bump, bump, bada, bump. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So, say I have that. It looks a fucking state. So, maybe we can save a comparison. Maybe we can hide helmet on equip. Mm, maybe not. Jesus. Let's see, maybe it's in uh, normal. Database, maybe no journal. What's the normal options? Okay, maybe here under accessibility, hide helmet, hide that kind of stuff. I like that a lot when it has it. I don't think so, unless it's under accessibility. God damn it, Billy. It may have prevented other people from being subjected to that shit. Fucking hell. That's all, that's all you can hope, right? Larger fonts. Cinematic. It turned off everything. Yeah, I don't think so unless I'm blind. I don't see it. Press the camera. Yeah. I'm not really sure I did see. 
a way to do that. There's a whole like crafting system I don't even use. Look, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. There's a lot of shit like that I just don't use. The outfits you can generate. More, more stuff. I wonder why the headsets create armor. Do need the body suits to do it? Oh, they do a little bit. Because it's actual armor. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I, it, the difficulty. Wait, hold on. This might do it. No, it's not. It's just. Look at this. Clothing. Disable comparison. Oh, no, it's just on a quick. Um, the difficulty has been just really perfect. Like, I, I honestly don't know how they did that. Katana. I suppose going off game after game using dumbass power level, badly implemented power level, uh, it's been a really nice fucking change of pace when I can play a game that doesn't require all that shit. These are a lot of mods you can put in. Guns, I don't even use that either. Like, There's an unbelievable amount of systems. Good for them. I'm just the kind of guy that like it's nice to have that there it reminds me a lot of the witcher stuff like i did heavily get into the mutagen stuff but i think once i had like an optimal build for the mutagen stuff i never touched it again i would do my leveling and all that and, and then i wouldn't really get into alchemy too much not really my cup of tea but like i said i'm always really glad when it's there i'll never deny anybody that it's better to have these options maybe just maybe some people don't want to use them like me, then not have them at all, you know. I'm just trying to... Alright, cool. That should be enough. I'll keep us going. Alright. Yeah, this running thing keeps bringing up. So I'm guessing the blue bar up the top is my armor, I think. Level 31. My piss. I've only been picking up purple stuff at this point. All right, let's skip. Let's try skipping uh, six hours for the meantime. Anyway, let's see how that goes. I do love the clock on this one, but you know, Gerard like taking a knee and just meditating is pretty fucking bitching as well. So it's their own. Okay, no sign of it yet. It looks like we have a new message though. That's this shit here. Radios. Once a million years. Fuck off. So funny the amount of shit you get. Just like in real life. Body dog. Look at that thing. It looks, it's a gun. It's a giant gun. This, this whole city is like one. There she is. Uh, one big fucking overwhelming thing. Uh, let's see. Hey, B, I want to say thank you again. I want to think about what could have happened if you hadn't been there. Anyway, I think something that might help us. Not going to deets yet, but I'll holler at you in a couple of days. Oh. Have a fabulous day. What a goofy goof. Hey, she goofy. Talking about a revolution. Alright, keep busy while you be waiting for Judy's call. Well, you know, we all want to change the world. It sounds like she wants to go after the tiger claws. That is a lot. That's, that's big. That's, that's a big move. Some, some big plays by Judy there. Get us all killed. I'm down. I'm down. I can see their huge uh, storytelling jump they've taken from Witcher 3 to this. Like, Witcher 3 is pretty exceptional stuff. But like I said, a lot of the monster hunts. What is going on over there? Uh, the monster hunts can get a little bit samey after a while. It's just like, go here, murder him, and come back, kind of thing. This one, like, we're just doing Judy's missions, and there's so much weight to it, you know? Dawn of the Sea. Oh, Dawn of the Dead. Okay, cool. Hell yeah, man. Was that the uh, was that the remake from I want to say 2004? Was it that one where the kid jumps up on the bed at the start? Hey, it's 2004. Who's your motherfucker? I'm your motherfucker. Nice. That's really good fucking movie, man. That's a good movie. I, I always uh, think of it because in a movie, your man's like watching it. It's like, oh fuck. The kid just fucking ate his whole face. It's so funny. He's trying to have like a serious conversation. He's watching Dawn of the Dead in the background. Okay. 
Okay. So, let's see, can we actually wait a few days? I'm assuming this is something that could have been done in the main game. I'm not sure. I didn't get the call from her. I literally started the stream with the phone call. So I think it's because I called her back and that initiated. So maybe it's a good way of going like, hey, you want to do her missions and fucking ring her up? Yeah. Or was it the original? It sounds, but it sounds like the remake. Y'all want to change the world. I mean, yeah, they're all they're all definitely worth a watch. And if you're going on that way, on the more comedy side of stuff, but still classics is uh, Return of the Living Dead. They're all a bit of fun. Can as usual, it kind of get worse as you go, but still worth a watch. Let's see. Well, let us see. I want to do this right. To romance Judy. I think once you just do the request, it's an automatic. I'm assuming it's like a flirt option. There's automatic love. Space in between. Yeah, we did that. And then you have to do her side jobs, which is what we're doing. Side gigs, side jobs. X Factor. Now we have talking about a revolution. So, you know, it says a couple of days, but it's just it's all six game in game hours. How about you, but if, if it's six game, in game hours is the same as a couple of days, good for you. Just make sure and answer a phone call and always accept her job. I think you could probably accept it and even if you didn't want to do it straight. There she is! Judy, Judy! Judy. So? I missed you, beauty. Damn right, I do. Look at Over this place. Gorgeous. Dread. The new one? Newish one? Michael will be here too. Okay. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Oh, locust, pepperoni, and extra cheese, tofu, tuna, and pineapple. The fuck is wrong with you? Don't like pizza? Get out of here. I guess locust, pepperoni, but it's fucking nasty. Locust, pepperoni, and lots of extra cheese. Had a girl. So, I'll see you come evening. Alright, I'll be there. Of course I'll be there. I guess there's no proper meat, so we're eating fucking locusts. Great. Mm, step right up. Hey, you know, if Bear Grylls can do it, we can do it. Alright. I'm gonna try and play this exactly the way I'd want to, which is to do her missions back to back for a sense of consistency and a full fully fleshed story instead of half ass one mission, half ass another. Same way I play GTA. Gets me in trouble sometimes, but I rather do a whole mission strand. Because it, it leaves it as a really great, like, episode of a show rather than fucking waiting two seasons to see a character again. You know what I mean? That's just me, though. It's also got to do with the nature of open world games and mission structure where you can go off, fuck off for 80 hours and then come back to a quest and like, Hey, you remember this guy? I'm like, no, I fucking don't. Cheers. So, yeah, I try to avoid that kind of stuff. It's a bit tough because GTA is a devil for, like, thanks, you did two missions for me. You don't get any more missions. Fuck off and I'll see you later. So you get that as well, so this is what is. Alright, Judy, so this will be cool. We're gonna actually plan a little bit of a uh, gang on gang warfare. I like it. Cool to see the mocks, the dolls do, making some moves. Everybody just probably treats them as they are. Just as sex objects not to mess with. But they're gonna prove themselves a little bit stronger than that. It's crazy. You'd expect Evelyn to be the one to step up, but she became the victim. No, Judy's doing it. She totally doesn't need to, but this is not a good way of honoring uh, Evelyn's memory. I don't know what it is. I just don't want to, her to get killed in the process, so I will not allow that to happen. Even if it gets myself killed. It's okay, I'm just a player character. Yeah, if, if it's the Dread from like uh, 10 years ago. Hey, Pyro, what up, dude? Pizza mentioned. Oh, I'm sorry. What up, man? How's it going? How's, how's your uh, couple of days off been? Probably delighted, you know? What you need to do is just keep ringing in work, ringing friends, asking how they're doing, how they're getting fucked, you know? I used to always hate that. The motherfucker that come in would be like, I'm, I'm, I'm off today, but I'm still gonna come into work. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get the fuck out of here. 
Alright, Judy Judy. That was such a tasty little win yesterday, wasn't it? Holy shit. I think we might have broken the curse. But I better not speak too soon. Alright. Use the intercom. Entering Judy's apartment. Hello. I have your pizza. Scare the shit out of me, why don't you? Pizza's getting cold. Who are you? These are all Judy's friends. Are Hello. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Hey. Have a seat. All right. Johnny, you're already here, you little bastard. She's worked at clouds longer than any of us. Hello, Roxanne. You're gorgeous. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hey. Nice to meet you. I want some of this locust pepperoni. When I heard what you pulled at clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Johnny, you shouldn't be here. No Just see. eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Don't tell me what to do. Um... Oh yeah. Let's 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 do it. Come here, Chris. You want payback for what Off happened? Off until New Year. Lovely, dude. That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job too. Nice to have no some fears, some downtime. I know you were saying it's a bit boring and all that, but trust me, it'll, it'll make you appreciate it. How are you, Tom? How are you? Okay, I guess, but you know, sad as hell. You sound real sad. Who's that in the background? Well, Michael, huh? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Change your mind after all, huh? So changed your mind, huh? Quickly, too. I'm Good. here. Doubt I need to explain why. Just a bunch of dolls. What's the plan, Judy? So, what's this plan all about? You're the brains. I'd like to hear the answer to that, too. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. Jesus. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a pre- I thought she was gonna soul. set up bombs. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. Hey. You'll air it out later. That's not true. You do smoke. I've seen you, Judy. Fine. I'll sit by the window. Yeah. Same with you, Johnny. Johnny, where'd he go? There he is. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. That's cool. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyber psychosis. They really got the eyes right it's basically in this the game. When we Judy looks at me, I swear to God. God damn it. You better Catch stop. It's all pros and no cons. I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode. The one with Carl Urban. Yes, that's present. fucking good, man. And, uh, no really wanted a dread game. You can't find a workaround. And that's it. I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. Hmm. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Well, what's the fucking difference? Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split second processes that right. happen. Uh, and the body has to keep up as well. Result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right. But I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training. But we don't have time for that. She's right, she's right. I have to take a shot. Yeah, how'd you ever come up with this? Well, she does brain dances. The girl's got an overactive imagination. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Mike's office. Mike Wazowski. I haven't really noticed something new with the movement system in Fortnite. What's the crack there? Did they not implement it yet? Yeah, you decided to believe it. All right. Give us a little demo, Tom. Tom. Watch him break his fucking back off the fridge or something. <laughs> Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. All right, careful now. Oh no, is he gonna do the five finger fillet? Oh shit! Say goodbye to your nostrils. Hey ya, motherfucker! You do not want to do that. Gotta admit, Johnny, you good? Bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. Right. I want to see a fight. Want to fight me? Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. Mm-hmm. I want to see how Tommy handles her. Good. 
V. Should I go easy on him? Judy, look at you leaning against the wall, all sexy dicks, like. Okay. okay. Like all right, okay. It's a nice place. I could see myself at home, buck naked on the couch. So, all right, you ready? You little bitch. It's on now. That's that's all you got. Let's go. Come on. Ah. You don't let the cutscene take over for this bitch. At least put some pants on. I can't take Everything you seriously. You okay? <laughs> Look at me go. Whoa. You see that? Woo! You've got some Gotta do some cardio. Just say it. Who? Me? This is my impressed face. Wow. I thought it was just Keanu being Keanu. Nice work, Judy. But like I, I said, yourself. can the body so keep bad. up? Be the richest Judy in this the USA. labeled a Pull a tendon. Please. Plenty of killing machines. No idea. Yeah, I didn't really know. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, ships are getting micro nuked. Micro. It seems like they're not doing nothing special between now and Christmas either. Yeah. They're kind of recycling everything like they do. Dragon Ball Z, fucking Star Wars, and Marvel and DC. So? All right. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Probably settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got Motion capture is so good as well. The little tiny movements. What now? What's the plan? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never. She's liable to die because she's kind of turning on them. And you know? having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. Yeah. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Good point. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Right. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do you find him exactly? Hiromi Sato? Hiromi Sato. Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but Don't he break from so tomorrow, okay. Dragon Ball, I think we're getting one or Claws two new skins. Claws trust him. Respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. No, they deserve stand a, better chance a by good him holiday. A fear. Good break. There's probably a few of them still just maintaining everything. They definitely deserve it. Like, it was a successful launch. Like, we gotta understand, like, we could have had a thing where it would have it would have went down. We had massive queues, for sure, mainly on console. But a queue is nothing compared to, like, getting in there and have it just fucking crash or something. We didn't have any of that. Same with LEGO Fortnite. They launched like three basically brand new games in three days. Might feel like modes to Fortnite, but for all intents and purposes, that they are brand Where new games. Where do we games. find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower. Sell and Frieza. I saw that. Maybe Gold Frieza. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. And Cell. People have wanted Cell for a long time. Really enough to just want Peter and Cell together. Peter Griffin. <laughs> Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V? I, I want Black Captain Tea? Cold. Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. Sure you will. V? Of course. Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Hey, Johnny. Takes one to know one, you man whore. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. He's got fucking rogue yeah, in his pocket while he was fucking alt. Come on. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael. I can't take anyone serious if I'm gonna say toodaloo. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel I don't know if we can like Roxanne's liable to freak out at the first sight of a body. I'm scared, V. Don't be scared. Speaking I got your back. Stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. Right. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. What fee? Feels like it's only right. What fee? You've never had a fee. Judy. Come on. For real? This is for Evelyn. No. Don't want to hear it. But what the hell uh, is going uh, on? We are glitching not out. Not a word. Normally when a game glitches, you're like, this is not meant to happen. This is meant to happen. Uh oh, relic malfunction. Oh, we just get tired all of a sudden, dude. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. 
<sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the, the hell, is V? You, like, sick? Uh, forget about it. It's past. Should we tell her? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? It's fucking well, me up, man. Story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram. That's crazy, you know, when the employees are going on break. <laughs> you being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. We've gone too far down the rabbit hole. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. Yeah, we're trying. It's late. You're tired. Mm -hmm. You can crash on my couch if you want. Oh my, that is. Very tempting offer. Oh, we can lean? Okay, yeah. Look, she's watching. Those freaking eyes, man. They pierce my soul, Judy. Jeez. Sounds great. Thanks. Such a good... You can tell there's a lot of, like, work put into the Don't important NPCs, like Jackie and Judy and Panam and a few others. Sleepy, sleepy. No spooning. Oh, shit. Oh, God. What the fuck is happening? It's the middle of the night. Where's Judy at? Nah, it's probably the next day. Eat breakfast. Optional. Leave the building. Morning, sleepyhead. Alright. Had to run. Didn't want to wake you. Let's eat some breakfast. Oh, thank you. Ain't that just so sweet. What is breakfast? More pizza? Is it really locusts on it? Locust pepperoni pizza. Well, I bet you whatever you pick, then you'll probably uh, be something different, you know? <laughs> Ain't that sweet. Ham and cheese thammy. And some kofefe. Thank you. What we got over here? Anything else? Those are robots. We talked about that before. No, oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste, except for one thing. And what's that? Way she looks at you. Uh oh. You haven't noticed. Uh oh. Makes you all mushy inside. Yeah. Feel it. It looks yeah. Except for one part of me, that's not mushy at all. What else we got over here? I think we've gone through all this. We were just kind of checking out our apartment. Our little private brain dancer. This, I hate the way she had to bring up the corpse. Fuck her for that. Someone likes getting their feet wet. She likes to die. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Free diving, maybe. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electro punk? I'd rather puke out my ears. Damn. Hey now, you're not exactly putting out that good music. I I heard you first person. Making reclamation a difficult You sound like one of them poser metal bands. Look at me! Next fucking Jared Leto, step right up. Got more talent than his fucking pinky finger. Pinky Wait, we still got this mask on? No we don't. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Anything else we can check out? No. We're all good to go. Let's see where Judy went. Judy's probably knowing her, she's gone ahead of the fucking competition. Getting herself in real big trouble. Skr -skr. Alright. We're talking about revolution. Uh, let's see if we can go about fucking making a revolution. I guess we just gotta wait for her to call again, is this? Always, oh, it's always fucking six in game hours. Let's drive away a little bit. And we'll get like a phone call. This is what I was trying to do when we were doing the racing missions. I didn't know it was a matter of just meditating the force of the forward. That was cool though. Even the racing missions have weight to them. Anything else? This man's about. Eat some cake over there. Very nice, very nice. Alright. Six hours it is. I always go like seven. Because it's not the same. 
cool that you, you, you come back usually to a phone call or a text message immediately. Hello! I have to wait for her text message. That was the text message, then the phone call, huh? Poor Judy. Street cred. Why am I getting all that stuff? What's wrong? Is someone in trouble down here? I, I must steal your shit. Silencer. Stealth damage. Okay. Downtown. The Lena Molina Show. New episode. They have a lot of YouTubers and internet personalities in this game. I'm kind of hoping that's something that'll disappear over time. Because if they don't learn, they'll learn the hard way. That it only takes a matter of time before they become problematic. And it sure would feel nice not to have to go back in and update something after creating it. Alright, how's things? You know how it is. Alright. Maybe we could do it again just without spilling any blood. Anytime. Oh. I can see a little winky, a winky face. The flirting has begun. Anyway, I'm still waiting for Michael to spill the deets on our meat. Call you when I know more. Alright, there it is. Probably skipping the first time. Here we go. Pisces. Alright, this is the name of the next one. I wonder where Pisces comes in. It might be the name of a club or something. Maybe somebody's a Pisces. Now we want to skip time. I jumped the gun there a little bit. Probably. I don't know. Who knows what triggers things. Just wants you to do other missions. So you're not like... But I prefer to do it this way. It's just they want to create a sense of a, a hey, build-up, you know? Michael called. Before sundown. Out front of the Mega Tower. Gonna be there? Of course I will. See you then. Where'd my bike go? Over here. All right, that's all I need to know. This should be fun. I just hope it's not a situation where if I don't act fast enough, people die. That tends to fuck me over. Whoa! What the hell's the matter with you, boy? Ouch, you die here. This game definitely scratches that uh, GTA itch, but in a whole different way. Kind of makes me want to play GTA in first person. I think GTA 6 will launch with first person mode straight out the bat. Half of the stuff... Fucking wank. Half of the stuff they, uh, you know, figure out now. And it's like, oh, it's a new mode, it's a new this, or whatever. They kind of leverage it, you know? And I don't like that. Like, Re Resident Evil's a whore for that. Oh, first person mode six months down the line. Oh, VR mode. Like, it's genius, and it really does keep a game, you know in the fucking mainstream how people keep talking about it but it just feels very piecemeal VR I don't give a fuck either way but it's just god forbid they just fucking launch with VR mode I know it's not as simple as that but then again I wouldn't want a game delayed so VR mode can work I don't know it reminds me a lot of the when we used to just get game of the year versions it's like, fuck me, why don't I just wait for that then, you know? It got, it got a bit obnoxious after a while. This this one kind of did it too. He had Phantom Liberty not that long ago and then the Ultimate Edition. But you're not really saving that much until you figure it out, so. Wait till afternoon. I think it's too late, is it? Must we have to wait for the next day? Yeah. Alright. Take on some Tiger Claws. We've been in some gunfights with Judy. She can handle her own. But she is more of a quick hack brain dancer, so she's a civilian. I don't want that to happen to her. Driving, I think I always chew third person. Me too. Like even in racing games back in the day, I used to do a little bit of bumper cam, or back then it was just kind of fucking, you know, first person through the windscreen. You couldn't even see the steering wheel. Um, but oh, I didn't like it. It was good for drifting and rally, but then as a, you know, third person, you kind of wanted to see the back of that car so it was better to have a third person you know 
people swear by it, like, absolutely swear by it. I think my older brother, he always did first person, so we'd do a race each and he'd just have to switch it back. It was like changing the seat position, was that funny? But no, I, uh, I definitely like, I like, it's, it's got to do with spatial awareness, right? And you have blind spots in real life when you're driving, but in a video game, you're all blind in uh, first person. That's, but, you know, things have come a long way with, with mirrors and that, you know? All right. They're all here. Damn, I didn't even recognize you, Roxanne. It's hot. It's hot. So glad you came. Molded over in my head. Y'all were right. I'm just waiting Sometimes for Michael. The only rational course of action is a kick in the nuts in a bullet between the eyes. Yes! Thank you. God, if only half the world had that idea. Any idea how I can get to Hiromi? Pulled the blueprint, got it all figured out. Okay, not all, but we're good on the penthouse. She look at that. She's smiling. Best bets to access it from the service level. Got a way in from there. And Michael? Yeah, I don't want her she? to turn on us. Meeting with Hiromi to avoid raising any suspicion. How hard is this driving firecrack? Sure That's a whole different beast. Oh my god, it's like driving a boat. Swaying all over all right. and shit. We going in? Yeah. You be Let's soft in driving. Don't get me started, dude. You've got Watch Dogs 1, Carbo Boxes, then Watch Dogs 2, it's floaty. Like, fucking pick one, bitch. <laughs> Then again, GTA is another one. Didn't know what they were doing. They had it down pat, and they're like, "Let's let's break what's not broken." GTA 4 had physics out the fucking wazoo. Cars would flip, and you hit the curb. Um, and then GTA 5 kind of pulled it back a bit, but still was a little unrecognizable. So it's weird. You two head in right after us. Go straight to clouds. About fucking time. I'm gonna bust straight into this club just taking names. Stay sharp. Gangoons might be lurking. Gangoon? Those guys like set them on self on fire. Yeah, they're all here. I'll follow you, Judy. Be careful. Got a jack into the panel on the other side. Okay. Can you take him out? Oh, with pleasure. Why does everything here always have to go to shit? Okay, that didn't work for some reason. Uh, do you remember the stealth mechanics in the game? That was so funny. It's supposed to have like a, a square button pop up for grabbing them. Sorry, sir. Oh, that's Judy. Where is he? I, that's why I love stealth because it's both pointless and boring. Where are you, motherfucker? Hey, Bernie, how's it going, dude? How the fuck you doing, man? Nice. Well, that's one way to introduce ourselves. What then? Everyone all in position. Skill shard for Shinobi. Tom nice. Progression shard gives XP for Shinobi. We go on you good, bro? I think he's like still alive. Huh? We can't have that. First, get Are you good, bro? I think he's dead now. Oh, you want a leg, Bernie? What's your favorite part of the turkey, boys? Want a breath? A leg, the breast, and the leg, the breast, the leg. Wolf, the Wolverine leak showed there will be dismemberment. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be fucking crazy. I I wish the best of them. I wish it didn't have to go down like this, but eh, it is what it is. People are using the PC build now as well, just playing it. But they're getting, which is crazy. This is, means uh, uh, Sony and Insomniac have gotten involved, but they're getting DMC takedowns. From their ISP, the internet provider. Isn't that fucking crazy, man? Never seen that before. That could be the future. Imagine that. How embarrassing that be? You need to stop watching okay. hentai porn. On my way. Elevators on the other side. Be safe. And then the GTA 6 hacker, little 18-year-old little bitch, has now uh, because they can't like properly put him away. He's been put into a prison hospital, and he's trying to plead insanity. Um, and it's mainly because when confronted, he said he'll do it again if he's released. If he just shut his fucking mouth, he would have went back. But he would have been caught again. But, uh, yeah. N there's no way of stopping those kind of guys. Like, finding them is pointless. They just, the parents pay it, declare bankruptcy, and then they do it all over again. This little fucker just wants to be, like, the next Zero Cool. And you can't be the next Zero Cool. I am Zero Cool. I don't know. I'll take the low Fuck level. him. It's always like a 15 year old, 18 year old. Dumbasses. You could, you could have a great 
fucking career as a proper hacker, you know? I, I don't see why any hacker goes down the bad route, you know? They, they'd have to be really insular and hard done by by some kind of society or whatever. Like, Jesus. Why not just be a, a grey hat, you know? Why not be someone who fights for people? A digital Robin Hood. As goofy as it sounds. That's what we need, man. Why are you get? Why are you going after insomniac? Go after fucking dumbasses, you know. Go after fucking politicians and shit. All right, you can go that way if you've got the muscle, but we don't need the muscle. We can do this. It's a hostile area. Find a way into the penthouse. Oh, you know. You want to see my way into the penthouse? Aya! Oh, wait, hold on. Buda, motherfuckers. What up, goose? Oh Jesus fuck these guys take a lot to kill, oh my god. Not to use guns. What's this? Precision rifle? Surveillance cam in front of the security room. Tiger claws are basically like Yakuza. What he, the hell was that laugh all about? These guys are chunky, they really didn't want us to fight them. Since when do I back down from a challenge? Are you crazy? New releases, brain dance, that might help her. She's into the brain dancing. Brain dancing is like VR, drug induced, you know, sexual shit. For whatever you want. We use it as a detective tool to basically read people's memories. Hell yeah, oh I forgot about this, I can do this now. Run! Let's see if I, next time we get into a fight, I'll try and use it. Alright, let me go into the penthouse, okay. I was up there already, but we were knee deep in ass whooping. Big bong! Whoa. I was hoping you'd make less trouble getting here. What the fuck? Luckily, they're all jacked into virtues. Thank God. It'd be game over otherwise. Right, wrong, chicks will give you shit no matter Jesus. what. Jesus. You're this one's practically a in a talk. sexual coma right now. Yoo-hoo! Don't like your idiot, huh? Yeah, that'd be nice. Not all girls Can have I have this katana? Besides, if she's got to deal with a gang, she shouldn't be. Mm-hmm. Could have called off the guards. No, that would have been too suspicious. Come on, now. Anyway, we don't like it to be Can that easy. Get this over with? I wonder what it'd be I like if guess. Arnold had stared in alien... Uh, stared in aliens instead of Predator. Mmm! Yeah. That's our target. You don't cool. What are they watching? You know what it is. Demo reel of Cloud's next top doll. Specially selected by yours truly. Oh my. The lucky girl's gonna replace Evelyn. Hope she proves smarter. Well, we can't have that. Fuck, we're trying to stop this. Yeah, I just couldn't... Like, who would... Who would, uh... Yeah, Scorny Weaver. So, would he replace Sigourney Weaver? Or would he play, uh... Kyle... You have no idea how valuable Kyle's my character. Is. Yeah, okay, okay. Who are the other two? Target audience of today's presentation. Show me answers to them directly. Now they're gonna watch him die in a pool of his own piss. <laughs> this is not what we agreed. Drown in a pool of his own piss. See this? This is a look of unfucking surprise on my face. I know face. the claws. To them, power is a question of strength, ruthlessness. Who doesn't love a good only. pool of your own piss? Michael. I'm about to jack him out. They will not be chirpy after the rude awakening. Should we just kill them now? One show ends, another begins. Just as good and unforgettable. Understand? Ah, oh, here we go. All right. All right, I'll do what I can. Jack them out. Jack them out. Well, she is no Barker. Wait, what's going on? Who is this? Living proof that Hiromi Sato's time is up. This Merc has already disturbed the clientele at Clouds once. She murdered she, she left Cloud him Cloud jacked in. It's clever. And now she's invaded Mr. Sato's private residence. As if that were not enough. This yeah. is where Hiromi's sheer incompetence has led all of us to. What the fuck? What the hell? I have long looked upon Hiromi Sato's foolish, inept endeavor. Well, Mike, this is. This? What is she doing? I think it's obvious he has outlived his usefulness. 
V, what the fuck she doing? Yeah, this is not part of the plan. Clouds need new management. Hold on, Michael. Think you're getting carried away. She wants to become the new boss. See, not all has been agreed. What the fuck? V, you oh. Gotta take them down. That's why we're here. Oh shit. Bored of all this chatter. I'd rather we just cut to the quick. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. All right, let's see. Can I do that? Oh yeah. Come on, let's see what you got, bitch. Come on. <laughs> oh shit, big boys there. Fuck, this guy is fucking shooting at me in the background. Nice. Can I put him through the fucking window? Come on, bitch. Oh, shut up. You fucking used us to get in and make your own demands. Fuck you, Micah. You deserve a bullet in your brain, too. You don't fucking realize what you're doing, girl. It shouldn't be called fucking Pisces, man. It should be called Gemini. You know, two-faced bitch. Huh? What might that be? They'll have their revenge. You've turned clouds into a ticking time bomb. Can't know that for sure. Yeah. Maybe the lives we cut short will be enough for the claws. They do profit and loss better than Militech's CEO. They'll see it's not worth it. Ah. <sighs> They wiped their hands of the mocks. Maybe Clouds is due its freedom now. Time to let it go, Michael. Get out! Get out now! I'm not replacing right, one fucking devil for another. Exits on the lower level of the apartment. Alright, thank then you. Find the elevator. I think that's all we can do for now. A sneaky little bitch, huh? Tom and Roxy are outside and safe. Good, I'm glad. They weren't followed. How about you, Judy? You okay? That was nice. But, yeah, we're probably gonna have those gang members trying to kick our ass from here on out, but... What's new, pussycat? We got half the gangs kicking our ass. Fucking Arasaka everywhere we go. I don't care. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Right, I know, I know. had this planned from the start. Yep. The same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. No. Clouds free, that's what's important. There's a difference between being a gonk and having some faith in people, right? Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gonk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Whoa! Oh, damn. Thank you. Judy, you are a little tease. What a beautiful day. Be. See you later, Judy. God damn it. Leave me with a rosy cheek and a bony. See you around, Judy. Judy, Judy, Judy. I like rainy days, man. I, I walk in the rain. I'm not these people running out trying to look for their little umbrellas. It's just rain. It's not acid. That was that was cool. I'm glad. I think we did the right choice there, right? I mean, what would you have done? If we just let her carry out our plan, it would have backfired on us. Monumentally, and then given Michael the power, we would have ended up having uh, to go through more channels because these fuckers have a tendency not to remember the favor they owe you. So, yeah, let, let us you know what, what was I saying? Like, fucking better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Kind of cool little neon umbrellas. The ones I like is the ones you mainly see in Japan, damn girl, uh, where they're just see through, you know. Kind of cool. You have a lot of little umbrellas. Everyone's crossing Shibuya Cross, and then you have to move your umbrella the first. Uh, at the same time, I, that's one thing uh, that is like a mortal enemy against tall people is umbrellas. I get poked in the face, in the eye, in the shoulders. I'd have to nearly cross the street to get away from some of these women because they'll have those giant. Fucking multi-person umbrellas, you know? They're like fucking tarps, nearly. <laughs> I'm like, you're a tiny little woman, and you're trying to poke my eye out, aren't you? Yes, you are. Ow, bitch. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Just drop kick him. I'm like, you're you fucking using your umbrella now, huh? Fucking wicked witch Mary Poppins looking ass. Get out of here. God damn it. All right, so... What happens now? Um, I 
that's the end of that mission. These are all Judy missions, by the way. I, I just want to kind of preface at the start of the stream that instead of continuing on with Phantom Liberty, which we will, of course we will. It's amazing. But I wanted to kind of, I noticed there was something, like I'm trying to romance Judy for my, you know, you've got Panam, you've got a couple others. I think there's like four or five total uh, that you can romance. And I was like, why hasn't anything really happened? I realized that I had done her little side gigs, but there was a few others that you need to do. And it was about kind of triggering them, you know. And in this case, it was about you have to wait a little bit of time and give her a call. That, that's what seemed to push it. If you say no at any point, it just ends the entire mission uh, structure. So just be careful, you know. Don't be afraid to get out. Um, actually, that reminds me. Let's get one right now. Get a, a save just in case. Because you might hit it by accident. The, the uh, options are controlled by analog. And we know how dodgy they can be. I really like Night City. I, w I would definitely live here. It's full of... You don't know who's male, female, robot or what. But uh, it's my kind of shit. I like it. Dark and gritty. Never know who to trust. I kind of like that. It's a city that you can tell that everybody's materialistic and pretty fake. But when you meet the real people, they're as real as they come, just like Judy and Jackie, you know? They'll fucking die for you, and have. It's just a matter of finding those people. This is pretty damn nice, sheesh. I see like they're adding the Lamborghini to Fortnite, everyone's like, ooh, ah, and they're ready to just spill out their fucking credit card details, just blah, just waiting for it. I swear to God, no sense. Like, it's one thing getting the odd fucking skin or an emote for the crack, you know? But it's a whole different thing just having to buy everything. There's literally dudes out there. It's not even FOMO. They have to have every item in the store. They have to. That is that is wild. That is wild. That's probably like 10 grand. Honest to God. I'm fucking lying. And that's before the fucking cars and uh, songs come into. The songs are way too expensive. That's That to me screams of harmonics. Right near the end of harmonics... We're pretty much with Activision. Those fuckers, like, you know, the rock band guys and all that. They got so fucking greedy. They really It wasn't even about a piece of plastic anymore. And the ass fell out of it, like most things did with the Toys to Life as well. Also Activision. Um, yeah, just too greedy, too oversaturated. By the end, they were like, just please hold on to your old plastic. And this plastic guitar will help you with all of the stuff, you know. Which it should have been the whole time. It should have been future-proof. I think, to me, like, as as fun as it was, once Rock Band became a thing, and especially the DJ series, DJ Hero and all, it was over for me. I'm like, this is fucked up. And the same way I felt about the oversaturation of Toys to Life, because I really got into Skylanders. Like, I, I, you know, at that time, and still now, I'll always be on the hunt for a good 3D platformer, and it doesn't matter how it comes. And, you know, with, with Skylanders, it was a great in with my very young nephew, you know? So I was like, of course. Of course, he just became completely addicted to it and had every single one of them. And I enjoyed that series up until around Swap Force. Swap Force is where you could swap the bottoms and tops with each other. There was a magnet in the middle. It was clever, but it was also... It had split the whole thing into two. It was almost like what Pokemon was doing at that point, you know? And even Crash and Spyro were doing that. That's when they got greedy as well. People forget that, but Crash and Spyro would split into two... And then you were meant to, like, cross them over. But there was a, a necessity need to have both, you know. It's one thing, like, Pokemon Red and Blue and, you know, you're meant to trade with your friends. But they, they're very smart. Even I see it where they, they get more sales from their dual copies. So they sell both. And you here's, like, a fiver or a tenner off. And you're like, you're fucking greedy bastards. You're greedy bastards. You know, back in my day, the, the lengths we went to trade Pokemon, like, you needed link cables. You needed fucking two systems right beside each other then it was even before like the global trade system and all that so there was no online and then when online did come in and um, the nintendo stuff didn't have proper online there was not proper wi-fi so you used to have to get this fucking usb wi-fi dongle just for nintendo piece of shit i i bought all this stuff because i was like crazy into getting my pokedex like the stuff i did and i remember i think i, I found that dongle like a year or two ago when i was moving and I was like, holy shit, I remember this piece of crap. And nowadays, like, you'd get it in a pound shop, do you know what I mean? But Nintendo, they still do that. Just before the Ethernet cable they put into the new OLED switches, you used to have to buy an Ethernet adapter. And it was the biggest load of shit. I went through three of them to try and just get one to work. 
That was just a USB to Ethernet. That's all it was. Just so you could have a proper connection for Smash and that. All fucking four online Nintendo games. Ooh, but the fact that the console never came with an Ethernet port was just baffling. As I said, they're always like a generation or two behind, but the games are there. Um, anyway. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, sorry, I'm getting off base, but... Yeah, I don't know, like, everyone wants that stuff to come back, and I'm like, sure, like... But, like, half the time, it's Xbox wanting it back, because they gotta make up that 70 fucking billion. There she is! Nice. My girl. Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old... After a little, little smooch on the cheek... Some good days and bad days. Been thinking about you. Oh, shit. Let's take any chance we get, even if it's as desperate as fuck. But there's one thing video games will, will teach you not how to pick up ladies. Don't be a desperate little shit. Good God. <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing? Or are you always thinking about me? Ooh. You know, I could be careful. Your name now, you can only romance her if you're female V. Okay. She's into I'm the ladies. I'm glad you remember me at all. This is another side of why I pick female characters. I'm sorry, I'm a dirty bastard, but when you get to those lesbian scenes, I'm like, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sorry. Oh, can you blame me? Let's see how Twitch fucking likes that. All right. Ask to your heart's content. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've these are two the horny show, ladies going at it. You're on a need to know it's always funny to watch these so relationships, probably written by a dude. You to have just, no gun. Especially the old Japanese the games. Suit. Just pure horniness. No one even cares. Why the wetsuit? Hey, are we going diving? I'm hey, diving in the rain the is actually suit. pretty cool. Maybe not night time though. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Oh, it's just nice you to really see Judy happy. In, but because we're skipping time, it makes it seem like she's gotten over Evelyn really fast. So. Yeah. All right, then Can't say no to Judy. But I gotta warn you. I look great in a wetsuit. Me too. Believe it when I see it. Bulge for day. <laughs> Damn out past Rancho Corral. I'll tell you one thing. One of these things the ladies will never sure. understand is when your dick Little gets up. caught in Bend your jeans fucking side. seam when you're walking. Meet me there. Sometimes you be half edging yourself off, but for the most part it just gets caught down there. You're like Having to stop for a minute and pretend to do some window shopping while you rearrange yourself. Alright, is this a date? Oh, Jesus. I gotta play this cool. Okay, Suave. Um, is this a we don't use the R word around here. Guess you'll have to find out. It's not the R trigger word. It's just... Oh my god, what's going on in the background? The Riz word. Pyramid song. You guys good? We just saw that in real time. Pyramid song. Yeah, I don't... Do, unfortunately, the word Riz had about maybe a week. Maybe, yeah, it's longer than most words before it became instantly cringe. This is a shortened word for charisma. But they use it just as uh, being a fucking dumbass, really, at this point. It's not Riz that they have it. They're being pushy little fuckers. How much Riz and they can't say take no. All right. But yeah, I, I remember like, you know, nowadays we got definitely more uh, uh, female writers in games, which is great. In a way, so, you know, definitely, obviously. But, you know, in some cases they can be writing for fashion and furniture for some reason. But not all the case. For the relationships, you can always tell. See, this is Zen. We're just going to get hounded by every fucking gang member. This, these are Arasaka. Fuck, I'm going to have to get out and get rid of these. They're going to... You're going to ruin my fucking days. Ah, Rasaka. He's in the fucking van, so I can't shoot him. Um, but yeah, la ladies writing relationships. Fuck me, is uh very good. Jeez, they're all like kitted out, so my bullets are not even working. We need to get rid of the melee guys. No! Wow! Wow, wow, wow! They are powerful. If this fucking... If this fucking interferes with my date... So this is, we're getting to this point where there's like four gangs after us at this point. Very much like GTA where you just mind your business and the fucking ball is up. God damn it, Billy. God damn it. If there's one thing you'll always remember... No, we don't even have a pyramid song now. Fuck! 
So what, what do I do now? Do I wait for it to call? God damn it! You stupid gang bastards! Arasaka cunts! Interfering! No, it's right here. It just didn't... There we go. There we go! Trying to interfere with my shit? Not today. I think there's, there's probably no way of calming these down. It's just that part of the game where everyone's pissed at you. I guess I suppose if you sided with one of them, be in your back pocket, but who cares about that? But yeah, the Alien series, I keep hearing they're trying to bring it back and veto the third one and have a sequel to the second one, blah, 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 blah all that kind of shit. It's like, for fuck's sake, the sleeping dogs lie. I, I'm not a big fan of the Prometheus uh, series and Alien Covenant and all that. That was really messy stuff. Really, unfortunately, like, amateurly messy for Ridley Scott. And that's what I worry about, like, uh, Gladiator 2. I haven't seen Napoleon yet, but might be good. I'm not, you know, he's not like washed up or anything, but he's getting there. Uh, if a director has to go back to treading old ground 20 years later, there's uh, usually fucking uh, a, a very, very. Let's see if we can do this. Massive. What the fuck? Even the cars are hitting me. There's usually a good drop in quality. Alright, alright, piss. Come on, bitch. The really good fucking sword, you're gonna have to go for the counter attacks. Why can't I do the dash? I still don't know how to do it. How do I do the jump? I don't know. I think she just got driven over. Alright, come here, motherfucker. Come on. Come on, you can do better. Come on, shoot. Come on, one more. Will you fuck up? Mind your motherfucking business. That's what I'm talking about. You guys need to just mind your business. Come on, bitch. Damn, it's... Did I, like, do I not own that relic? I still don't understand, unless it's just that. I really don't think that that's what they're going for. Where is it? They're like, what the fuck, dude? It's supposed to be a cool jump. Remembering enemy or performing a finisher, Mantis Blades will charge the next leap attack. I fucking did that! I just killed the dude. I just killed the man. Yeah, fuck this shit. There you go. Is that, that good enough for you? That leap never works for me. It's supposed to be flying through the air. Just one time. Alright, Judy. Hold on. Call me Mr. Raider. I knew I was going this way. Dude, rain just makes every game look insane. And this one's no different. This leap attack, huh? Me ash. Do a leaper. Ironically, the road is actually more grip on it in the rain. Explain that. I'm usually spinning this bike around. It's almost Christmas, boys. So, yeah, tomorrow I'll do a little cheeky Christmas horror game. Probably just a bit of crack. And I'll let you all go. Yeah, I'm so fucking bollocks, though. Holy shit. God damn. Oh, my God. It's, like, inside me. Hello, sir. I have brought you your railing. Speaking of railing, we're going to go meet Judy. i give her a fucking railing now in a minute. God damn. I think once I do this Judy quest, I'll be happy. I, like, I could start something in Phantom Liberty, but... Yeah. What I want to do is see can we go back to the apartment with her, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's getting it all full close. Excuse me! Oh, she's got one thing on her mind. The lady boner. The amount of, like, side jobs you can do and hidden stuff. Like, I had found that car. I think it was, like, Johnny's old car, because he popped up. I had found that in an old abandoned garage. With the guns on it and the armor and everything. I think it's so crazy cool. Unfortunately, I've only really got to use it in uh, the races. Oh. Yeah, this thing does not like when you press the, the brake. It's still 2.6. This must be out in the boons, isn't it? Way out in Badlands or something. Yeah, what the fuck? And they added the new races as well. They did a good job. Like, I think, all things considered, it took three years, but I think this game has completed its redemption arc. It's done enough while leaving enough on the table, you know, like outside of mods. Like I really love, would love flying vehicles for the sequel. 
there's mods for it and it, it's done very well you can even there's even mods for jobs like becoming part of the trauma team and shit like that you know so oh, i always pick the wrong exit man every time because the gps i know what they're trying to do they're trying to be nice be like stick to this road but it should just be a chunkier yellow line to cover the whole road GTA kind of does that, it's like, get the fuck on the road. They're trying to keep you on the right lane, but what it's actually doing is confusing my brain that I need to change the entire fucking... Oh, this is like an empty highway. See, so yeah, out in the Badlands, it's just nomads and tribes. Almost, yeah, very much like Mad Max out here. Go, And I'm glad that this is... You don't spend enough time out here. That's why when you start the game, you have uh, three backstories to pick from. And you can be like, you know, a street kid, you can be a corporal bitch, or you can be a nomad, and you'll start outside of Night City. And I thought it was really cool, just having that Night City in the background, like some behemoth that you don't really get to fuck around with. You know, as a, as a kid, just living off the grid. God, you wouldn't want to hit that too far. Alright, I might grab a little save before we meet up as well. I don't want to fuck it up. One wrong move. I know, these things are pretty good. Like, when it comes to romance stuff. Some other games like Mass Effect and Dragon Age, both Bioware, they were a little bit more um, tougher to get everything just right because they would almost have this uh, secret thing going on in the background where it's, it'll uh, catalog every choice and you almost get like a, a meter that builds up of uh, how happy or how in love they are and if you don't get there and all that shit. Alright, so we're going diving out here, nice. Just off the edge of the uh, the big dam, huh? She goes free diving. Is this water even safe? I don't know. If we're eating locust meat, I can't see the water being too safe, but I don't know, maybe the wetsuits will cover that. Who cares? Go and dive in this game. It'll be cool. Be like a fucking Little Mermaid moment. Once Aquaman's not down there and Amateur taking a shit. She's taking a shot? Nice. It's weird. It wouldn't let me drive anymore. Is this her little spot? Is this? We're getting to see a little more of Judy. In the early evening. Oh, she was there. Did you see that? She was on that car. But it, it must have just... Uh, it's cool that they've allowed these little areas to wait. Thank God. So I have nothing wrong with timed missions or whatever. But for the love of God, give us ample use. The reason it wants at this time is probably a good diving time. And you'll be able to see underwater. We know she was on the car. Hello, nurse. Is she singing? She's so happy. She's got that kind of new love buzz about her, you know? She's fucking glowing and shit. What's this over here? It says we can scan something. Judy, Judy, Judy! What are you scanning, huh? Oh, it's our diving suit. Okay. She's like, you better do it and boot it. I wonder what she's singing. V. Looking good. She's so happy. Oh. You mean... Considering the shit we've been through. Well, factor that in and you look fucking amazing. <laughs> Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? Don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes is all. Yep. Oh, how could you not fall in love with this? So like, everybody loves so Panam and so do I, but think? Judy's my girl. Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Why the long face? You horse. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Liar. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the mocks, or Arasaka, That's and true. Militech, and how the world's going to shit? Just... Rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. Okay, you're dead right. Let's just have a nice free dive. Get to know each other a so bit better. So ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Huh? Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. Uh, how do you blend two separate experience tracks? Just tell me what to do. What do I gotta do? 
You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work ever. Virtue, like a uh, virtual reality experience. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why did we come all the way out here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're going to scroll? No, we're going to scroll underwater. That's crazy. No, no way. Bad idea. <laughs> Tell her to find some other yes woman. Fuck off, Johnny. What do you say? You in? That's crazy. Diving's not my thing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. Yeah, damn, I know you got that hardware. You got the whole fucking bakery. God damn, girl. God damn. The lake's edge. You gonna push me in? So we're gonna do a virtual reality underwater. All right. Get that booty of yours suited up. Hey, don't you talk about my booty. Um, why'd you choose this place? Yeah. Why'd you choose this, of all places? Why? Don't like it? No, I do. It's okay, but any special reason why you chose this one? Of course there is. But you'll have to wait to find out what it is. Probably some actual real fish still alive. Okay, let's get this on. Let's do this. Alright, diving suit, take, equip, boom! Let's get this scroller on ya. Water's toxic, yeah. You didn't ask if I knew how to swim. Right, I can't uh, I can't swim in real life and underwater is like my greatest fear. Not worried, I'll just But I can live vicariously through rocks. video games. A bag of rocks? Come on, don't sell yourself short. You can find in that wetsuit, hell yeah. You look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Careful. You should see me in my Max Tech uniform. Whoa. Mean you have one? Indeed I do. Won it in a bet. Still hangs in my closet, waiting for the right occasion. No. Huh. I'm gonna hold you to that. Jesus, girls. Come on now. All right. Let's do this. Whew. Freezing ass water. Here I come. Yay. It's just shrinkage. Okay. Is, does that work for ladies, too? Set. You go first. I don't want it. Can I push you first? <laughs> Woohoo! Gerana gnomes. And don't descend too fast. Okay. You don't want to get the bends. Swim upward. X. Okay. Access to air. You'll begin to suffocate and receive damage. This is the first time you swim. Whoa. Alright. Judy, you coming in? Dude. Whoa. What's down here? Oh, is this an old highway? This is so cool. Look at that bit in AI where it's like a whole submerged city. Yeah, follow that booty. There she blows. <laughs> and it seems to me to be these are more about making a living, right? Virtues are more to you than just a way to turn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Escapism. Paintings, songs. They're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally, how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. This is cool. It's probably too clear for toxic water, but we'll just uh, blame it on the uh, the mask, right? Yeah, look at this. Half a fucking sunken city. Sounds about right. What are you doing? What is this? It's like a little uh, lift, a little dive. It's almost like a diving bell. Whoa. So over here and look straight at me, will you? Great. Great. Signal's clear. Just need your help with a few basic checks. Mm -hmm. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me. Swim. What are we doing here? Alright, is that good? She just has, instead of resting Great. bitch face, she's got resting sexy face. Now swim hither. Hither. Next up, sound check. Dither. I'm gonna hum a song, you give me the title. Uh oh. Read me? Okay. How am I supposed to know? Mm 
no idea what the song is, but I heard it. Uh, I go something like. Nice. And you got talent, girl. All right, that ought to do it. We are now synced. We're now all synced up. Prepare to have your mind blown. What? Wait for it. I grab this and hold on tight. Oh, Christ. Where are we going? Where's the grab button? Is it this thing here? There you go. Damn. Yeah, it's like an old-fashioned water elevator. Like a diving bell. You sure our suits are cool? With this? Yeah, I suppose it's not that deep either, but... Be surprised. This is mad. This is like a romance mission. It's crazy. The lighting is a bit buggery, unfortunately. It's all good. I think it's just horror light mixed with what they're trying to do with the fog. Yeah, look at this! Huh? My god! No idea. It's like old LA. Said we'd see a sunken town. It's, it's like fucking like Wild West almost. I know. Sure as hell never seen anything wow. like it, can tell you that. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Laguna Just Beach. Fifteen years ago, people still lived here. Wow. Got some connection to this place. Old family, grandparents. You got it. Grew up here. Damn. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Probably the nuclear warhead that Johnny set off. Sounds Nova. This is a hell of a date, especially a first date. Whoa. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. She chose to go with us. Look, the old palm leaves and everything. Damn. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. God, this is cool. Imagine if you didn't do her missions and you missed all this. The very idea just felt weird. Besides, didn't want to come here alone. Always some rando. Mm-hmm. You know the fields. Now it's special. So where was your little home in the church over there? Where was your home? Where's your house? It's probably that one we just landed on. So she set all this up. It's crazy. A whole little town. Lost. Only 15 years ago, so. It feels like 100 years. Search clues there. Diner, best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing, too greasy, big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. Better than locust meat. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Flows. Looks like this fell off your one and only eatery. Childhood for you tasted like toasted marshmallows. Mm -hmm. They always caught fire, burnt, but that never bothered you. Ah, that's nomad life for you. Can't be a fussy eater, or you'll get no food at all. Anyway, all kinds of food taste better with just a little burn. I agree. I definitely agree. Just a little bit of charcoal burn. What else we got over here? It's cool. This is like we're learning so much about it. That's how you treat your goddamn characters. Photo frame. I'm guessing some things you don't. Or maybe didn't scan it properly. Oh, there we go. Weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Yeah, yours. Anything to make out? No, not much. She knew it was a framed photo. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. Like it? You kidding? It's awesome. Oh, maybe give it to her later. What's that? Golf club? Oh, hockey stick. Okay. Hockey. It's usually for the Canadians. 
it's this hockey stick. Oh, fuck! Going, See, this is what I was saying. No! No! I wasn't ready! Oh, my God. This is what I'm saying, dude. It's so... It can be so stupid like that. Where your camera you is. In it actually fucked me over there. I was going to give her the camera and everything. Man, kiss my fucking ass. Ugh, that's really annoying. Just because she was... Her flipper was there. So it kept popping up. Uh, God damn it. Normally I'd reload, but I'm fucking streaming, so I'm not gonna reload. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I swear to God, developers, man, you need to all to knuckle, knuckle down and punch the shit out of each other every once in a while. You just can't get out of your own way. Uh, you just about having fun. You're like, oh, let's, uh, let's just fucking press the wrong fucking thing for the player. What are they like? <laughs> Just have the fucking things on screen all the time. Why should they randomly pop up? That's such meddling shit. Meddle with the fucking conversation wheel. Mm. Wrecking the bulge, boys. Now I probably can't give her the camera at all. Well done. The, the little memories and echo noises are kind of creepy more than anything. It's like some Terminator shit. What else we can we find? God damn it. I hate that. It just took me out of the moment. It's not even a bug. It's just interference. What else can we see here? For clues. You talk to Judy to kind of say, you know, let me move on, I get that, but it interfered with the other options because you have too many fucking options. What else could be over here? I think I see something there. An old doll. It's like when you get closer, it gives you the conversation choice. So look, let's keep going. See, that interferes. That's not what I want to do. I want to talk about this doll. Isn't this your doll? This isn't yours. Poor thing. It's an old brat doll. Damn, you remember? You took her doll. As if. <laughs> hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Oh, yeah. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. People that treat each other like crap because they like them. It's such a weird human response. Want to see what's further on? Come on, then. Want to show you something? You have no guess. idea how weird it feels swimming through here. How are all these Where little memorabilia just? As a kid. Oh. Where daily life grinds. It would have been still fairly futuristic even 15 years ago in the game, like 2052, 2050s. It's still got a lot of the old as well. So has Night City, just got nowhere to look. Church hasn't aged at all. Always looked old and... This is up there with like, uncharted moments, two meter moments. Bells I love it. Cracked too. Gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Yeah. Weird, I had no memory of that seconds ago. Now I can almost hear him. Me too! Is that, I think this has got to do with her, uh... Possible, yeah. I think I hear those bells. It's her brain dance thing. Seriously, you can hear my memories? We're both in the same scroll. All synced up. It is kind of creepy. It's like listening to ghosts. Closed. Shame. I don't know about that. Good look for another way inside. Yep. Be my guest. In fairness, you could probably squeeze through the bars. You like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know. Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. No, so it wasn't from the nuke. They actually flooded it on purpose. Probably, but it's toxic water, so it's not opening. meant to be. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Drank, so I don't know what the fucking purpose of it was. I thought it was to create a dam. Snuck in here once when no one was around. 
Go to the altar and try to imagine what went through the Padre's mind, looking at all those people. Back then, I wondered how he could read people's thoughts and know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs. I thought I was a... Acoustics. I thought I was a, a dolphin for a second. Oh Jesus! Our relic is freaking out. Echo, I got back scared the living bejesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling. Oh God! Flew right back in my face. I wonder if using the the brain dance was messing with the relic. Christ, that was meant to happen. V. Please. Oh, I almost lost you. Nothing like a near-death experience oh, to make fuck. everybody get horny. You're alive. It's true. What happened? You passed out. How'd you manage to lift me out? Dunno. Didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Oh yeah. Hey, careful. Easy now. <laughs> so, you're saying you saved my life? Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Not what's the name? Toxic waste? Is that your concept? Oh shit, she synced up. I forgot. She can hear Johnny. You? That's crazy. Heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Mmm. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a mm, complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? <laughs> Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Mm -hmm. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Oh shit! Bad idea. Stay where exactly? Why not? Don't ask me twice. Why the hell not? Whose cottage is the name? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Hmm. Water was way more toxic back then. Your father, grandfather? Abandoned lake dwelling. He tells me you've come here a lot. You must be chilled to the bone. 62. I said How do you take yours? Fatal incident occurred on Friday. When resident climbed the crane out of stall construction, the crane after responded lobbing objects. Jesus, lost control. Clyde into a home and killed the family who were still inside. Oh my god. Is that her family, you think? Milk and sugar. Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Mm-hmm. You got milk out here? What is milk? Geary. Ah, forgot to start the generator. I can do that. I could turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Use it out here. All those people from the town. It's depressing. Most nomads have a story like that. And all of them begin with the same thing. Displacement. Oh, I can hear. We're still synced up. Power's up. You go that route and sit here all day what the hell? What is going on? Is she on the phone? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Was she on the phone, you think, to somebody? Oh, damn. Was it old memories? 
thinking this is our family home. Yoink. We're still synced. Thinking about Evelyn? Oh. That's a, that's a tough one. Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw. She looks so vulnerable. Revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. No, no. I didn't want to tell you. Wanted this to be just our day. Oh, it is ours. Oh. I want it. Ooh. It is ours. Make the move. Damn those eyes, I'm telling you. Holy shit. See, that's a, a proper personal relationship. It's probably the best fucking romance in the game, you know? Same with Panam. Because, you know, like... The old Bioware stuff was fine, but God, it always felt like just two pixels mashed together. There's barely any nudity or emotion in it, you know? There's way more emotion in this. <laughs> Jesus. How you like them apples, Twitch? Fuck you, Twitch. Anyone got a spare scissors? No, no. <laughs> Damn, they are not fucking around. That was better than what they did in Witcher Tree. I definitely picked the right woman. Good lord. Judy, Judy, Judy. Little spider tit web. Spider web tit. Spider tit. You guys can have Pan Am. I'm all in with Judy. I think why they did that is because most people probably played as a dude, so Pan Am was the best option. Time for seconds. Good God! Congratulations, CD Project Red. I get a boner. I uh, just turn back, and this is what I see. You know it. You know it. Well, we we did say we'd be here to do the Judy mission. Of course, she's already checked out. Nice little happy story for the two of them. We'll see how far that can go. Get a boner. <laughs> That was really sweet, actually, you know? It wasn't just all dirtiness. Of course, she's gone. The old one night stand. Nope, she's going for it. I wish she wouldn't swim in the toxic water. Will you sit with me a while? Of course. Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. She's fucking amazing. So, yesterday. Great motion capture. What was that exactly? What she wants to see is it a one time deal? Don't remember? <laughs> yeah, I love playing coy. It's like, what happened? You know exactly what I'm trying to say. <laughs> what did it mean? Like to you? Right, so you could probably just fuck her and leave, you know? A pleasant distraction, the beginning of something amazing. That's to double down, have a relationship with her. I think it. I mean. <laughs> she has oh, such a hard exterior, like she's so vulnerable now. Nice. Great character, Unless great motion capture, great voice acting, everything. Ugh. It can be such a gonk sometimes. Nah. Ruined my plans, you know that. Was gonna leave Night City in the dust for good. Even started packing. But now I think, I think I gotta stay. Why'd you wanna leave? Gonna make it up to you somehow, huh? Ah, oh, well, guess I'll have to make it up to you, won't I? Hmm. 
Yeah, that would be appropriate. Give me your hand, V. Little, little promise. Oh, it's like syncing up their biometric data. That's cool. It's like cybernetic blood brothers. All set. Sisters. Congrats. Wow. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa. Uh, asking me to move in? It's quick. If it's what you want. Oh. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. She's not playing around. I don't know what to say. You sure? It's like that joke. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Wanna go there now? You can if you want. Gonna stick around for a bit before I head back. Level up. Is that what they call it? I thought it was just dirty, nasty sex. Let's stay here for a while. Isn't it? Uh, the future bras are kind of crazy. There are no claps in the back and there barely ever claps in the front. All the dudes must be like, fuck this, I can't understand how to open a bra. So, yeah, that would have been where it ended in the original game, but in 2.1 they've added like extra little hangouts. I want to see if that still happens. Let me see. That was what a beautiful mission. I don't think I've ever played a romance mission like that. That was been some goofy stuff, but Jesus. Like, getting to go fucking free diving and... Checking out the old place and it's just very personal, like extremely personal. I don't know how many people got to see this version because Panam definitely seemed to be the fan favorite, but I don't know. Judy. For me it was Judy the moment I saw her. See ya, Judy. Judy. Panam is no slouch, but come on. Job complete. I don't know if it was a job. It's a bit more than that. She's still got a lot of demons. That's okay. I can fix her. What's this now? New job. I really want to stay at your house. I wait two days for your partner to message you. That might be some of the new stuff. I want to hold your hand. Oh, yes. That was awesome. Sorry, I got too comfy there. You have a nice apartment, too, you know. And you have both. I don't know. That's a good question. Don't know. I tried to do that in The Witcher Tree. It didn't end so well. It was this close to like the the perfect threesome, and I got none. Poor old girl got tied to a bed and left there. Good old Triss and fucking uh, Yennefer. They knew what he was trying to do. I had to do that. Uh, Let's see. People get upset when people pick like Triss over Yennefer. I'm like, Jesus, it's not that fucking serious. Uh, let's just go there for now. Then we'll skip ahead and see what happens. That was lovely. I'm assuming doing all that at the end there ties you in. So maybe if you were to say, oh, it's just a fling, you could maybe, maybe uh, go after another relationship. See, there could be a little bit of humping and dumping going on. Sure, when I play as girls, I am the biggest fucking man whore. I get with everyone. I get with the fucking witch, Kira. I get with everybody. Then I'm like, hello, Yennefer. Welcome home. Thank God girl is sterile because I swear to God, he'd have about 50 illegitimate kids fucking running around there. New job. Imagine. What's this one? Approach the stranger. No. You inundate me with stuff. Let's see what this says. Can I have a little date, huh? Knock yourself out. And don't worry, I'll close my eyes and plug my ears. That's Johnny talking to us about the mission. That's, that's true. Did he just see, like, the ultimate fucking lesbian porn that was happening inside of his head? You lucky bastard. You lucky bastard. You got me, man. Why two days? And I think it actually blurred out the actual, like, fingering. Probably, I guess it had to, but for the most part, it's been pretty lax on the read and reply to message from Judy. With the new today. You busy? Hey, what's that? Cala calabache? Calabacita? What oh, that means? What's going on? Bad, same old stuff? Could be better? It's been a long time since we saw each other. It's been five days! Yeah, fine. Johnny says hi. Okay. Don't be too needy now. What's she thinking? Oh no, my poor V gazing out the window, pining after me. We gotta do something about that. Maybe I come over. It's like the best erotic novel ever. Of course. Know my address, the Megabill. 
All right. So worst case, I could ask the neighbors, "Do you doing?" All right. Go meet Judy. These are the little extra hangouts. I'm thinking everybody. Why, why did I come here? I wonder. I think everybody was asking them. It's like, hey, we got these lovely relationships. That's cool because it's a very good point how most of these games, even when you do have a relationship, besides that last, like, Bioware was a whore for like, all right, you can have sex, but that's the very end, right before the big mission. And that was it. Like, they barely exist to you outside of that. Does what it is. My favorite part about all that was like, the, most people got with Ashley in Mass Effect 1, right? And in Mass Effect 2, not so much. And by Mass Effect 3, you grab a couple of like relationships going, and you gotta like solidify them by Mass Effect 3. And it can lead to some the most awkward fucking dialogue ever. Like, since you've been gone, I've been getting a little blue alien, you know what I'm saying? God damn. For me, it was like, uh,. I would go with Liara, because Liara is like that little shy science t scientist girl, but she's a fucking freak in the sheets. And in the second game, I would go with Miranda because he bond, goddamn, that ash. Apparently, the ash got completely nerfed in the Legendary Edition. That's fucked up. It was such an unusual time. What was that like? 2010, 2011. Such an unusual time of video games. Like we'd almost reached the peak of the. You know, almost obnoxious levels of masculinity, you know. Where every woman in the game was like, had served a purpose to be some booty. And we had like, the weird journalists getting involved. And so the, like, that fucking Jessica Chobot in Mass Effect. Doesn't seem that strange now, but it fucking was, you know, 10 or 12 years ago. Which is a pretty small part, but oof. Now it's like... We've gone too far that way, where it's like, more YouTubers in our game, Durr. Five minutes before they all get cancelled. This one, I think this little hangout is just more like a sweet thing from the devs, you know, you're just kind of petting each other's hair. Now, I think the Judy one might be broken, so let me grab a, a save here. I'd heard the Judy one is broken. Everyone shows pictures of Panem. I think Judy's might be broken, will she? She may be, it might be one of those things that just haven't found a way. That was really nice. That was like one of the best romance dates missions I have ever played in a video game. Like, Jesus. If you had told me that was the main story, I would have believed you. What the fuck? You guys good? It's just high off her ass. I very rarely actually take the elevator to my place, I tend to just fast travel directly to there. Let's see. What the fuck, man? Do you need help? Do I need to beat the shit out of this guy? Thorvathoth. Tapata. Some new, more news? Yeah, I don't know. I'll look into it. Welcome to M54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan. Jillian Jordan. The 54th anniversary of the AHQ disaster is fast approaching. In 2023, Night City was shaken to its core by the detonation of a tactical nuclear bomb in Arasaka's NC headquarters. 12,000 were killed instantly by the blast and thousands more later succumbed to acute radiation sickness. This tragic incident which some ultimately attribute to Arasaka's wanton imperialist tendencies. You probably can't with Panam and Judy, because maybe uh, Panam just likes dudes. Yeah, Panam's straight, Judy's gay. You can't do it at the same time. But there is other people besides Panam and Judy. So maybe. Probably like Witcher as well. There's probably like lots of rain dances and stripper clubs and just fool around with people. It's not really count. I'd like a game to like really double down and just have you like accidentally cheating. Accidental. Hey, get back here. Fuck off. I'm going to my missus. Judy, I'm home. Hey, she's here. I thought it was bugged. Hey, finally. Hey V. Hello. 
Leave the area and end the date optional. Hang out with Judy. Doesn't seem broken to me. And here we are. Picking up very chill vibes. This is so cool. Like it's not just adding little motion capture and all that. I was that. just thinking of you. I have to get like voice acting and stuff. No. You weren't wearing clothes. Oh my. Better step. Spent the night with the president. Abby. Lately recorded any cool brain dances? What and new with the mocks? How's virtue tuning going? Scroll anything preem lately? Depends what you call preem. Does smut count? Smut? I sit and talk with her this way. Hell yeah. Cuddle. Aww. How'd you get into virtues anyway? I always had a techie streak ever since I was a little kid. It's probably I broken on PC. Virtue, I was like, hey. I swear, I PCs are like made better. to introduce more bugs. So I tried, and I did. And then it just snowballed from there. Cool. Come here. Well, so imagine she just like breaks and ragdolls and flips all over. Oh, let me read your mind. People that do that, like holding your hands and trying to read your palms and the bumps in your head. I don't know, man. Can't, can't get this shit I out. wasn't always on the move. You and I could... Spend more time together. Enjoy life. Quality over quantity, V. Just focus on tying up all your loose ends. Then you and I are leaving this city once and for all. I hope so. She's kind of dying, though. Oh, It's so cool. Yeah, I only ever see Panem, so it's nice to see her. She, she definitely needs different clothes. I guarantee it does. People already say I've got a bounce in my step. Oh. Dude, she got that spider web directly on her tit and nipple. That must have been crazy. But then again, like this is the future. They're doing like laser tattoos. So you probably feel nothing. That's I, I look at the fucking detail on her lips and everything. Like Jesus, crazy amount of detail. Holy hell. Yeah, give it a few more years and everyone will have their little AI holograms walking around like Anna the Arms and fucking. Is that how you say her name? In uh, Blade Runner. We got the candles going, a little kind of smooth jazz. You got a fine lady in your lap. I mean, there's not much in life that will make you more happier than that. I think that's all we can do. No more, no more conversation. Just sit here. Maybe we can go on different dates as well. You know, as, as, as simple structure as they were, the dates you can go on. In like GTA San Andreas and then uh, GTA 4, they're actually they're kind of goofy and fun. I like them, you know. I like I like the amount of detail put into the small talk. For us, it just feels like goofiness. But someone out there recording fucking tens of thousands of lines, you know. One thing I noticed about this game, it never misses a beat where it knows that you're like female V or, or male V or whatever, you know. I suppose with Judy only being able to do these missions with female V, uh, it makes things a little bit easier. Oh, yeah, she's she's one hell of a character. Let's talk for a little while. The only thing is the default hair right, for V yeah, is very right close to Judy's, so right. I'm looking a bit um, too close. What else? What else can we do? Let's have a shower together. Did I say that out loud? Shit. Can we talk about some of the missions we've been on, really? I spent last night with someone. That's cool. Guess who? Actually, scratch that. You'll never guess. So that's one of the spill. Phantom Liberty Rosalind quests. Myers, but not you know in the in the way you're thinking. I like that she tells her all the stuff. She's like, what? Oh, oh! I feel like she, maybe you're supposed to answer that. What's new with the mocks? Susie isn't giving me the time of day as usual. Maybe you should become their leader. Why did you join them in the first place? Mm. Couldn't you replace Susie and lead the mocks? <laughs> no way in hell. I'll stick with tuning virtues, thank you very much. Yeah, I don't think she has delusions of grandeur. If you haven't noticed, I'm not much of a people person. Nah. Hey, you're my people person. How'd you hook up with the mocks in the first place? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. I believed in them. Winded up business as usual? I mean, I wouldn't go that far. A few Joy Toys lives really change for the better things to them. There you go. Got another question. Joy on. Toys. Shoot. I think that's all we got. I don't want to end so fast. What else can we do? Look at this place, huh? 
What's this supposed to be? You have a little dance? It says, hey, you can dance. Let's have a little dance. <laughs> awesome. Let's go. No slow dancing here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, this is cool. What the fuck is this? Is this churches or something? What the fuck? Wonder what music they'll pick for Death Stranding too. He had such a hard on for churches in that fucking that game. They 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 have some interesting sounds, but like it was one of those situations where you know it's almost like Imagine Dragons showing up. All the other music he picked was so beautiful, atmospheric, very uh, very nice, but that one just used to throw me off a little bit. I mean, you could call that dancing. Oh my god. When you, when you know they're emotion capped by a white person. Good God! That is the white man shuffle right there. Well, as much rhythm as, like, a fucking Pokemon. What's this here? What else can you do? Look in the, I think if you look in the mirror, she'll come up behind you, right? Oh, it almost gets a little glitchy, dude. She, yeah, she, look at this. This. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe they did this. I'm picky about my girls. Oh. I bet you were. I love that there's little details everywhere. Can we share a shower together? Asking for a friend? A friend named me? I'm just saying, you know? I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm not, I'm not asking. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for yes! Me. You scratch my back. She's always singing that song. You wash my back, I'll wash your pussy. Must be like a little childhood song or something. It's probably it's probably supposed to know it from something. I definitely chose his right. I know Panam has got a, a fantastic booty. I'll still do some of our missions, but Judy's where it's at. So they, like all these little things and the dance and everything, they added all those in there. You know, I know they're like very self-serving, they're over as quick as they start, but it's just, it really builds that relationship. It's fucking genius. Nice. Hey, she finally changed too. Thank fucking God for that. She's been, like, I love the dungarees. Put down? Put down what? Am I walking around naked? No, apparently I changed in that. Put down what? What are you talking about? Look at you, look, you look gorgeous. Can't beat the old boyfriend shorts. Nice. God damn, I chose very, very, very right. Let's see if we look outside, will she come join us? And, oh. Still think about leaving Night City? Every day. Yeah, someday. We will. But as of right now, I've still got a reason to stay. Hey, little cheeky wink, huh? Yeah, I do hope that, uh, for the sequel, I would love them to go somewhere else, but Night City just, it took so much to create. But I would be down for, for other places, because, you know, the whole of America in this universe is fucking wild, you know, like, New Republic of Texas and all this, and then there's like, a Western. It's funny, because I was talking about that Alex Garland new C Civil War um, movie, and he showed his version of America in that movie, and it's actually not that far away from what cyberpunk is doing you know besides the western front which is uh, uh it was like a lot of the states outside of california it's the only one but yeah in, in this one um there's been a lot of devastation but there's other places we can go night city is pretty much la you know that's what it is so yeah you could they could go to texas they could go to other places washington dc some parts of it are just destroyed by uh, nukes and mutual destruction and that. Good God. Beautiful. Bunk cyber. Sorry, that's, it's going to take a lot more than that. Good God. What else can we do? Hmm? What else can we do? Why did it say, like, put down? Did I have something in my hand or something? Put down. Let's try that. Oh, well, well. Oh, that's the camera. What? What's that one? These are just like collectibles you could take. Interesting. Just things you can place around your apartment, I guess. Sleep. Oh, we'll be doing plenty of that with, you know, sleeping. Otherwise, just candles. Sure you're all right. Of course. 
Let's change our clothes up. What did it say there? Euro dollars, okay. Wardrobe. You gotta do that wardrobe. This is what we're wearing now, apparently. Besides the jacket. It's the one I usually wear. <clears throat> it's not really what I, I usually wear. You son of a bitch. I still like the spiky ones. Did they get rid of them by accident? Hmm. Yeah, the clothes are pretty cool. There's so much of them, you know. There's the Witcher jacket. A lot of booba. That one's kind of nice. That one I wore for a good bit as well. Some nice dresses too. Yeah. You're not going to catch me doing too much of this, honestly. What's this? Inner torso. Inner. Some face masks. Some glasses. It's weird. Like, it didn't give me an option not to save it, you know. <clears throat> See, that's what I usually wear. Fuck yeah. Anything else? This is just a stash. Maybe if you turn on the TV, will she uh, say something about it? She's kind of watching a little bit. Fucking gorgeous eyes. Can I go in here? Well, come on. Come on. Thinks we're having a conversation. Open stash. This is my stash. And you put a lot of stuff out there if you want as well, if you want to hang it up. I don't come back here very often. See what I'm saying? Like, there's, there literally is hundreds upon hundreds of hours. Judy. Oh, she's wanted, huh? Oh, three star. The Mox. Abilities. Frag grenades. Legal protest. Alright. Let's go to sleep. It's late. Nighty night. I wonder how many of these little things can go on. Maybe anytime you want. Oh, ain't that a sight to wake up to? Oh, not like a bit of more than breath, huh? Isn't it funny? Like all the shit we hate, but then you're in like a long uh, fucking time relationship. You're like, no, it's cool. You fire it off, fire it, we all fire it too. Maybe sleeping without fucking blankets on. Can I make her breakfast in bed? Don't disturb the little princess. She's gonna kick your fucking ass if you do. Let me see. I don't think there is anywhere to make food in here, is there? What the fuck? There is something that's kind of missing, huh? You can have like a traditional kitchen just things that are kind of there what's this supposed to be turn on tv is it in the remote or something keep the candles on all night seems like a lot of food stuffs there sounds like i'm in my bare feet i fucking am i mean the nip the tits out no I gotta get dressed. Hold on, I gotta get dressed. The booba. What? Why did they do that? It's just one, one of the outfits. I think that's it. Yeah. Everyone close their eyes. I gotta get dressed. Goddamn. I gotta get dressed. Put some goddamn shoes on, sir. Please. This is a, a nice establishment. Sure it is. These are some nice tatas. I don't know where that fucking top one is. Tatas! Do! Do! 
Alright. I wonder if you can run around buck naked. Oh my god. Jason. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Alright. That's enough of that. Talk to you later, Judy. Isn't that cool? It's a nice little, nice little thing to add to. I'll leave the area to end the day. Alright. I don't think you can even jump down there. You have to take the elevator. Hey, get back here. Is this the right way to go? Look at these dumbasses. Fucking caps, man. Fucking caps. Hey, get back here. Hey, get back here. Message from. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I bet you know what I'm thinking. I love seeing you, seriously. Thanks for finding some time for me. Oh, give me a holler when you find some more time. Uh, thank you for being there for me. Oh. Holler. Oh. Ain't that sweet? Not being so damn perfect all the time. Kisses, hugs, and snugs. Oh, man. So fucking soppy. I love it. Ain't that cute. That's pretty damn cool of them. See, people are saying it was all bugged out. I kind of want to see it for some. I wasn't bugged at all. That's perfect. So that pretty much completes nearly from beginning to end the entirety of uh, Judy's romance quest. Pretty damn cool. A really great. I, I'll see. I'll keep doing Panam stuff, but uh, I'll, I'll see how far it goes. I won't. I won't tread on it. That was fantastic. Probably Star Wars Outlaws. Yeah, you think so? I don't know when we'll get it. I hope it's in the first half of the year. You know, even if it's like May or something. As long as it's good to go. It looks like we got an XP bonus as well. Almost like well rested. People like to shit on Bethesda games, but I see inklings of things everywhere from Bethesda games. So fuck them. Anyway, that was a nice little look. Next time we play this, it'll probably be in the new year. Uh, we'll go back and do the uh, Phantom Liberty quest. That was all 